How's it going, guys? My name is DJP, and welcome back to another Emily the Show 23 Franchise Reviewing Challenge. We're doing another one of those. I put a player in a 0 all league, breaks the MB, uh, MLB. Also, 162 no challenge, can they win the World Series by themselves, etc., etc. One of those kinds of videos, which I haven't done in a while, either for 2K or Emily the Show. I wanted to do one for Emily the Show, give a, a little break there from Madden. Uh, so we're going to be doing Josh Jung. This was recommended a while ago by Jonathan Cano, so thanks for the idea, Jonathan. Uh, Josh Jung. Now, in this roster, it, he is a 68 overall, so it's not perfectly up to date. The roster's a bit outdated, but you know what? It's because of the zero overall roster. We're using him. He's basically a prospect at this point. So it's going to be interesting how well he's going to do as a young, younger, lesser version of himself. And obviously, the best past season, he's had a really good year, of course, to this point, all star, etc. So we're going to see how he does. Leave a like, subscribe, join the content, comment on some videos, socials, play the second channel, main channel down in the description if you like the content, DJP. And with that being said, let's get on to the gameplay. All right, so here we are in the game now. I'm just going to show you guys the roster. So as you can see, Josh Young is a 68 overall at this point. Again, in the roster, the zero overall roster, he's a 68 overall. I didn't adjust anything. I wanted to keep it kind of authentic to the roster. So at this point, he's just a, a 68 overall. But, I mean, he's going to progress to like a 70-something. So, I mean, it's cool. And he's going to still dominate. The question is, is that going to be good enough to lead a team to a World Series? Now, I don't think so. I don't think he's going to be good enough to do that. And I can actually see them missing the playoffs entirely. But we're going to simulate and find out. So let's see what he can do. So we're going to sim the season. I'm going to stay with you guys the entire way. Uh, but I want to see when they do lose their first game. Because so far they are 4-0, 5-0, 6-0, 7? Yeah, 7 and 0 7 8 Okay, wow. Eight games in a row until they lost. That's impressive. I feel like that's a record. I feel like for the mo most times we do this... It's, uh, that's never the case. And in case you guys are curious, it is all zero overalls. Now, obviously, there are free agents that sometimes get picked up throughout the season. So that might end up happening. We're going to take a look and see at the end of the season. We'll look at the rosters just to double check and make sure that maybe somebody got, if somebody got picked up or maybe nobody did, who knows. But I am actually pleasantly surprised at how well this team is doing. I did not think they'd be this good with just a 68 overall player. But 57-34 is really, really good. So shout out to uh, the Rangers. Now, that doesn't mean that anything... They could still lose, but uh, they are taking some L's right now, but yeah, they're at 60 games. And yeah, I mean, this is impressive for Josh Jung because you can have a good season, obviously, but right now they are taking a little bit more losses. Let's see if they can get some more wins on the win column and hopefully make the playoffs. Looks like they are going to make the playoffs, though, which is cool. Postseason, technically speaking. I always mix up the, and interchange the two, but relatively it's the same exact thing. And yeah, they definitely cooled down a bit, but uh, they will end up making it, and they won the division. 1972, winner of the wild card. So it cooled down a little bit. Now I'm curious to see the rosters. I'm not going to look at the... Uh, I didn't look at our roster, but as you can see, all zero overalls. Looks like nobody got signed except for Jung. He's the only one there that's a relatively normal player. So let's look at the lineups here. Josh Jung. 40 home runs, 206 ribbies, a 406, 404 average, 501 on base percentage, 62 slugging, 265 hits, 113 walks. And again, if he, this was his current day overall, he'd even, probably even done even better. Maybe. I can see the field. 12.3 war. So that's pretty cool to see. And we're going to take a look. Of course, he won a bunch of awards. League leaders, of course. Josh Jugs will be leading in a ton of categories. Uh, no surprises there. And, yep, hits. Uh, bats, he was third. Doubles, uh, didn't lead in triples, though. Home runs, 40. 26 ribbies, 147 runs, 21 stolen bases. Uh, didn't lead in base on balls. On base percentage was the highest. Slugging, OPS 1.164. And that looks about it. Of course, there's going to be war as well. 12.3, so we led there. Injuries, just some Joe randoms. But let's take a look at the wards here. So obviously you got the Hank Aaron. You got the AL rookie there because he is a rookie. So that's another award that he did also win because he's eligible for it. MVP, batting title, and triple crown. Awesome. Very awesome. And he's going to get a silver slugger as well. Uh, uh, he's not going to get a gold. I don't know if he's going to get a gold. Actually, yeah, he might get a gold glove. Yeah, he does get a gold glove. And he will also get a silver slugger as a third baseman. So he got won a ton of awards this season. So fantastic stuff there from Josh Jung. Now let's take a look at the standings. As you can see, Rangers 90 wins. Didn't have the best record. 
But nevertheless, still good enough. Padres, 95 wins for them. Blue Jays, 92. And who we're going to be taking on in the divisional is going to be the Houston Astros. So the Battle of Texas here. Let's see if they can advance. So game one will be an 18-7 win for the Rangers. Game two is a 14-4 loss. Can they win game three? They can. We're going to a game four. We lose 9-8. to eight. Was it in extras? No, but it was the ninth inning. So it was a walk-off. They were 82-80. and 80. Game five, do or die. Can we force a win and go to the ALCS? We cannot. We lose five to three. So unfortunately, Josh Joe could not lead his team to a World Series or a 162-0 record, but he had a really good season. Lost in five games. And let's take a little lineups. I mean, he hit 304 in the playoffs. Pretty solid. Nothing too crazy. Uh, we're out of the ordinary, but not a bad year for him. Not a bad season for him. Good job for the most part. Would have liked maybe, you know, 400 in the playoffs, but again, I'm not really going to blame him when our pitching was putrid. Yeah, our pitching was putrid, so uh, for the most part, everybody was pretty bad. There were some good eggs in there, but it looks like for the most part, everybody was terrible. So clearly, we're not good enough to make the World Series and win it, unfortunately. But let's simulate the rest of the season. It's going to be the Nationals beating the Astros in the 2020 World Series. How good were the uh, Nationals? Nationals had an 85 win, uh, 85 win season, and uh, yeah, beat Houston, beat Toronto in seven, lost in six to Washington. Washington won in the wild card, two one against uh, Pittsburgh, beat the Mets three to two. Uh, gentlemen swept the Diamondbacks and then went on to win the World Series. So shout out to them. Uh, curious to see the, uh, how they did uh, the awards, I guess for the most part. Wow. 714 in the World Series. Congrats to you, my friend. And you can see the postseason MVPs. But wow. Very, very cool. I guess uh, with that being said, let's go to the full screen and close out the video. Well, that's good for me. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Comment down below some more videos of our socials, playlist, second channel, main channel. Down below in the description if you do like other content TJP. Once again, thank you to Jonathan Cano for the idea. I'll probably sporadically post some more MLB videos, so let me know in the comments below if you want to see some more of this. Madden is taking the precedence. 2K, I'm putting on the back burner until NBA 2K24. So I know uh, maybe a couple of people suggested for the uh, zero overall league players. I We will not be doing that until later on once we've got all of our uh, videos for 2K kind of pumping out. So that'll be when 2K24 comes out. So be on the lookout then. Of course, I'm also planning on doing other sports like uh, hockey and soccer as well once those games come out as well. With that being said, I'm going to head on out. Take everybody. We'll see you soon and peace.